Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown continue to make strides in their game every season, and they both have established themselves as stars in the league. But who's the more valuable player for the Celtics so far? Let's get right into it. Let's start off by breaking down their defense a little bit. Both players are pretty good defenders. Both are long, athletic, and active for the most part. You have Tatum who stands at 6'8", but actually rumored to almost be 6'10 now with a 6'11 wingspan. And Brown stands at 6'6", with a 7'4 wingspan. So when you combine these two wing options on defense, they can definitely create some problems for the opposing team in their respective positions. Tatum is averaging about 2.5 deflections per game and 1.1 steals per game, while Jalen Brown is averaging 1.7 steals per game, which is top 10 in the NBA right now and something to take note of. Even though Tatum may rack up more deflections per game than Brown, I'll probably still say Brown is the better defender due to how much more disruptive he can be on the defensive end than Tatum at times. What really stands out to me and their defensive abilities is their body frame and the ability for them to move their feet to stay with quicker players on drives. These tools have really helped them over the years become better defenders every season, which actually makes both options good to a players. But overall, on top of how hard they play on the defensive end, this definitely has something to do with their value that they add on the court and on the Celtics in general. No, they are not super elite defenders, but they are good enough to get the job done. Let's get to the next segment. I think we'd all agree that both Tatum and Brown aren't past first players by any stretch, but they do try to make the right plays for the most part if they don't have a good look at the basket, especially this season. Right now, Tatum is averaging about four and a half assists per game, which is up from last season where he finished averaging three, while Brown is averaging three assists per game, which is also up from last season where he finished averaging two. But the real question is, can these two keep this up throughout the course of this season? They both haven't had the best reputation when it comes to passing the ball throughout the course of their career. Some even saying Tatum has too much of a Kobe score first mentality, and I can really say the same thing goes for Jalen Brown, because he really looks for a shot as well. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing all the time. Some players' best abilities is to in fact score the ball, and I think these two are really starting to show the league how much of a force they can be on the offensive end. One thing about being an offensive threat is that you'll either be easy or hard to guard, depending on how you pass the rock. And either way you put it, I feel like Tatum and Brown are definitely hard to guard, no matter if they're passing the ball or trying to score the ball. A lot of times throughout games, I feel as though both Tatum and Brown take a lot of tough shots because the defense knows that they want to score. These two don't have to be passes like CP3, but being a threat offensively with the added passing ability at an efficient rate can really open up their offensive game even more in terms of scoring the ball, which would allow them to get a lot more easier looks at the basket. That's just my opinion though. Even though the difference in assist averages is obvious, I still believe that they are both willing passers throughout the course of games when need be. And both are getting better with that every year, which I believe is due to development and maturity. Although, when it comes to crunch time, it's either Tatum or Brown taking the shots. All in all, I give Tatum the edge in this category. Now let's move to scoring. Both players are much improved scoring the ball over the years. I never imagined both Tatum and Brown becoming this potent offensively at such a young age. And in another video, I will really break down both players' games individually. When people have these debates on who they think is a more valuable player for the Celtics, most people will immediately say Tatum because of how similar his game is to Kobe's and may overlook Brown. But honestly, I feel right now in this point in their careers, it's a close one. The reason I say that is because they virtually are putting up similar numbers. Both can shoot the three ball, the mid range, and finish at the rim. This season so far, Brown has really been showing out offensively, averaging an efficient 28 points per game on a 60% shooting from the field, while Tatum is averaging about 24 points per game on 45% shooting from the field, which is still really good at the guard position. If you look at the three point percentages, Tatum shoots more three point shots per game at about eight versus Brown six. But despite that, both are shooting 40% respectively, which is excellent for the two of them, especially to have for the Celtics. One edge that Tatum has over Brown is his rebounding ability. Not saying that there's a huge difference in that category, but Tatum is averaging about eight rebounds a game, 
Uh, Brown is averaging about four and a half rebounds per game. Just something to think about and take note of. One thing that stands out to me is the difference in free throw percentages. Tatum is averaging 80% at the charity strike this season, while Brown is only averaging 67%, which is a huge difference. Down the stretch, I'm definitely taking Tatum to hit free throws over Brown, and it's something Brown is going to have to improve as the season progresses, especially when they get into playoff time, because those could be the difference between winning and losing the close runs. Overall though, both players are proven to be a force not only in the East, but in the entire league and they both are deserving of their big contracts. I know Kimba Walker is out right now, but I actually like this as of now because it's putting more on their shoulders to have to carry their teams to wins and allowing them to learn how to win without a ton of help, which I think will help with their development not only this year, but years to come. When Walker gets back, I believe it'll make the game that much easier offensively for the both of them. But if I were to choose the most valuable player for the Celtics right now, I'd probably go with Jason Tatum because of how balanced his game is and how I take him over Brown down the stretch, but this isn't by a landslide for me. Let me know in the comment section who you think is the most valuable player for the Celtics right now. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn your notifications on. We're gonna be having a lot more breakdown videos every week, so stay tuned. Until next time.